Hi and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Today's topic is uh, Ollama. And if you have no clue what it is, this video is for you. So I'm going to explain what is Ollama, why it's cool. We are going to go through how to get, get it set up. Then I'm going to show you how to use it to run a nice uh, free local model like Phi3. And then we are going to customize it a little bit, make our own model. And finally, we are going to wrap things up with how to code it. That's the funnest part, I think. So a lot to cover. Let's get started. As always, any links uh, are in the description section of my video. So if you like to follow along, you can definitely do that. So uh, a local model is cool because uh, compared to the big commercial models like ChatGPT, you don't need to subscribe. You don't need to pay anything else except, of course, your resources that you are using. So if you run it in your own uh, machine with your own GPU, of course, that costs something to have that hardware. But if you already have it, you can just download the model, start using them. Another cool thing about local models is that you can choose your models so you have a little bit more ownership and control over them. And if you ask some sensitive questions or feed some sensitive data there, uh, you can have a little bit better ownership as opposed to sending it to third party servers. Now, local models also suck because they are slow and not necessarily so clever, but they are getting better. The local models we have today are way better than anything we had a few years back. So in the future, I expect there to be a, to be a beautiful combination of those huge models available commercially and then more specialized local models, your own AI, in other words. So that's why I'm very kind of interested in them. And uh, that brings us to what is Ollama. I already have videos about Langchain and Spring AI those are nice, like programming interfaces to deal with uh, several local models or remote models. But Ollama is slightly different, so um, it's more like a Docker for the LLM. So it has a programming API, but you can run it as a server to host your models and you can pull the models, you can modify the models. We are going to do all that fun stuff in today's video. And uh, Olama.com is obviously the place to start. Uh, and then we can go to the blog to read some uh, recent news. We will go to the GitHub pages shortly because that's the best place to get started. But I just, before we go there, I want to show you the models page. Models page lists all the supported models and there's a lot. I'm very interested also in the embedding models that got here recently, so I can do local Im embeddings quite nicely. Definitely going to do another video on that later, but let's keep today's video shorter, so not going there today. Today we are going to be using Phi3 model. I'm uh, much in love with this model because it's lightweight, but rather clever model, so it's a very good model to be running locally right now. Okay. Uh, how do we get started with Ollama? Well, we go to the GitHub website. All the info you need is here, and I will guide you through it. One thing worth mentioning, this is MIT licensed. So MIT license is on top of this one. Another thing to mention, this is written in Go, Golang, but uh, you don't need to really know much about that level unless you plan on um, modifying the code yourself. Yeah. How to get started is all here. So you have a few different options depending on your environment. Uh, Mac OS, Windows uh, preview, and then we have Linux. And with Linux, you can do the fast and scary route, run um, installer software directly, or you can go the manual install instructions that give you a little bit more control. Now I have already jumped through these hoops. So I have Ollama set up and running. Um, again, you can do the fast one, you can do the manual in instruction. I needed to tinker with a few things on my Windows subsystem for Linux, so I had to spend a little bit more time uh, having the GPU work and get the system D running because I have ancient installation. You might encounter same trouble, so it's always not uh, ev everything doesn't immediately work, but you can ask around. Here, you can also drop some questions on my channel. I'm not really tech support, 
But if it's something that I have encountered, I will ha gladly try to answer. No guaranteed results with that because um, I don't really do any tech support. Yeah. But uh, I had a little bit of trouble with this one, but just going through the hoops, I was able to get the CUDA drivers. And just worth mentioning that you can run the models on CPU, but it's going to be horribly slow. So you should really get the GPU support and just follow the links and get it done. Uh, if you are able to run NVIDIA SMI, um, then your uh, GPU is working. Let's uh, whip out my prompt here. So NVIDIA SMI. If you have N NVIDIA GPU, then you get your GPU details and you should be good to go. So after the installation, after installing through the Olama, you should be able to run the Olama. Uh, comments, they are actually documented here. As I mentioned, I'm not going to right now run the scary script or go through the manual steps. I already have it. But the uh, fastest way to check if everything is running is something like this or choose whatever model you like. So we can do Olama run by 3 and we should be good to go. And that's that's all the tricks there is to it. So we could actually play a little bit with the model immediately. Before we go there, I want to show you another way to do things. So we can also do Olama pull, like Docker pull. Might be familiar with that. We can pull the models. So if you run, you automatically pull. I already got the model, so this is very fast for me. But you can do run to pull and run it. You can do pull to separately download it. So if it's a laptop, you can bring it along and you don't need network connectivity anymore. And uh, obviously you need some space for the models. They can be rather large in some cases. Phi 3 is nice lightweight model. It's nice lightweight uh, size in disk and uh, it doesn't take too much of the memory. Okay. So we've got Olama. We've got the model. Uh, what can we do now? Let's actually give it a spin. So I'm going to run my Phi 3 model again. And uh, let's try to ask a question. Well, oh, Guru, what should I consider when writing software? Give me some words of wisdom. Okay, so we got rather rapid answer and a lot of text. And as I mentioned, Phi 3 is it's okay. It's an okay model, surprisingly clever. And in some cases, it's, uh, it gets a lot uh, slower on my hardware. But uh, having the GPU acceleration, you get pretty nice results. I would say pretty awesome results when it comes to ease of use, resource usage for a local model. It's pretty awesome. I love it. <laughs> Not uh, a paid commercial, by the way. I'm still unsponsored at this point. So I'm just saying how I feel it. Okay. So that's how we run the local model. Now, I want to show you another cool trick. So how do we customize a model? Well, there is some commands like set. And uh, with set, we can do set system to set up a nice system prompt. Let's try something. Um, I'm going to copy one uh, popular prompt that I use quite a lot. So prompt engineering 101. You are a personal AI assistant who is very helpful and very precise, but with super dry sense of humor. You cannot resist being very witty and snarky when answering the questions. Yeah, so let's save the model. Save Jarvis. Let's say goodbye. So what I did, I just set up a custom system prompt and then I saved my custom model for later use. So like Docker, it's adding layers. So now we have the base Phi 3 model plus my custom system prompt, and that equals Jarvis. So Olama run Jarvis. Uh, what should I consider when writing good software? So now we have a little bit more snarky, witty uh, flavor here. 
and uh, it's being a bit bit more with an attitude yeah um i think that's cool for this but i wanted to wrap things up by showing you a little bit of python in the end so we can pull models we can run models we can customize and save models for later usage uh, with added uh, kind of context and instructions so how about that coding part let's do coding so i have a nice clean empty folder set up already so first thing you would do is get the library and olama has a few options for you so you can do python olama api you can do javascript api with native olama or you can use langchain now i've already showed you langchain on previous videos if you haven't seen them go look them up right now so today we are going to do all of a native api and uh, you can do python you can do javascript we are going to do python for today if i go a bit downwards we can find some more instructions to follow so it's all here there's also rest api by the way that might be cool i'm just going to show you how to do it okay so let's let's see how to do it so Step number one, you need uh, environment with Python. Again, I have videos on this on my channel, but I'm going to, for today, use um, a nice uh, environment called Olama that I have already done. So I use virtual environments to keep my different uh, experiments uh, unpolluted. So just stick to the basics. And if you don't have the Olama, uh, it couldn't be any easier to do like pip install Olama. And here we go. I have already installed it, so I already have it, but this is how you would do it. That's all you need really to run Olama. So let's do a five liner of code and play with my Olama a little bit. So now I have uh, set up Python and I have set up nice uh, environment with the Olama. Uh, all of my libraries and let's do hello all of my pi script here and what should we do here well let's import all of my and then let's get a response from all of my so the method would be all of my generate and uh, we get to choose the model i like to choose the model in case I have multiple ones, Phi3 is my model for today. Then prompt is something, something fun. And we should get a nice response, so let's print it. Let's just print the response and see what we get. Okay. My ID is not yet up to speed with my library. I could actually fix it from here. I have, as you can see, I love my virtual environments. I've got a lot of them. I should have the Olama visible here. If I use it, I get the nasty uh, yellow lights uh, go away. So what should we do? Well, we could do explain quantum computing. Ah, computing. This is, by the way, what you get when you request that I actually type my code from the scratch you get a lot of typos uh, in real time so explain quantum computing for a six year old please because it's good to be polite for your robot overlord so python hello olama so all the power of large language model in your fingertips and uh, using phi3 model let's use jarvis model and because the output is a little bit messy, let's grab from the response that I got, let's just grab the response part. Yeah, I know there's response within response. Perhaps I should have renamed my variable to be something else. But now, again, we are running the model. In, in this case, I ran this snarky Jarvis model that I just customized, and I just grabbed the text response part. Okay, kiddo, because it's a little bit condescending. And remember, kids shouldn't mess around with actual quantum computers just yet. So there's that little bit of attitude I was trying to create. For some reason, I find it fun to create my LLMs with a little bit of personality. <laughs> it's, 
it's a stupid perk of mine. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's it. So I try to keep my videos uh, digestible, lightweight. So what we did today, I introduced you to Ollama. What's it about? What it can do for you? If you haven't ever heard it, I think that's the most valuable thing. If I got that little bit of spark in you, so you, you feel like you would like to play with it, well, play with it. It's free. It's fun. So do it now. And then I showed you some features like pulling models, running models. I showed you a feature for customizing. I just scratched the surface. There's so much more. And we wrap things up with just a little bit of code. It's so tiny bit of code that it's not worth me for me to share with you. You can just follow in my footsteps and write, uh, pause the video, write the code, play with it, take it uh, a little bit deeper, make it funner, funnier from there. That's all okay. Uh, I would rather, after watching my videos, if you get that spark, spend a little bit more time, like 30 minutes, and read the documentation, and you get more a bigger spark, and then you will, will do more awesome things. And please, if you build something with that inspiration from my videos, let me know, because I love all that feedback in the, in the comment section. And uh, this is not the only thing I'm going to do with Ollama, so I will definitely do a follow-up video where we will do some rag with Ollama because that's awesome as well. So just um, what, uh, wait for that video and uh, by the way do any video requests. If, so if there is anything you would like me to do, uh, request it. I might just do it. Not I, I'm not promising I always do but if it's a fun request I will definitely do it. But I think that's it for today's video. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.